Hey, it's Greg Luther here, and listen, I got a question for you. I've got a real estate related question for you because I was talking to an agent today, and uh, she was concerned with the competition in her area. She thinks that's part of the problem is there's too many real estate agents in her area. Um, and the fact is that just because you're licensed doesn't really mean you're practicing. So many of you know, like I coach about 30,000, almost 35,000 realtors all around the country, and we're doing very well with the vast majority of them. But I always tell them, no matter what market you're in, if you're in a, a slow market or a small market, or you're in a, a high-end, you know, 30,000, 40,000 realtors, a high count of real estate agents in your area, that doesn't really mean that that's competition. Um, you are only getting beat by the competition if you went on the appointment and somebody beat you. If you didn't go on that appointment at all, you wouldn't have got that deal anyway. If that agent wasn't involved, they still wouldn't have went with you. What you're fighting with is obscurity. So my question for you is, uh, what percentage of realtors in your area would you really consider licensed and practicing, right? Like we've all seen before the NAR numbers show, I don't even know what the latest number is, but like five closings a year is the median. Uh, you know, agents are closing four or five, six deals a year. That's not really a realtor, you know what I mean? Like that's, yeah, they're licensed and, and that type of thing, but I wouldn't really consider them practicing. So what percentage of agents in your area, and actually, if you don't mind leaving a comment here, let me know the percentage that you think are really serious, full-time, closing a couple, three deals every single month. What percentage of agents in your area do you consider serious? Is it 30%, 50%, 10%? Uh, because there's a whole lot of real estate agents in your market area that are hairdressers, that uh, own a CPA office, that do some kind of other things. And I don't really consider them licensed and practicing so much as the agent that this is their full-time business. It's all that they do. Uh, they're making big money from it. So I want you to think about what that number is. And I'm seeing a lot of you are saying here 5%. Richard says 5% are serious. Uh, Michelle says 20%. Katrina says 40%. Uh, and I'm sure we'll have it all over. There's honey running around. Uh, we just moved to uh, back to Ohio from Florida. She really thinks she's going to find some lizards up here. There are no lizards in Ohio, but she loves chasing those things. So she's going to be disappointed in that. Um, but my assumption, my number that I would type in is, you know, based on all of the agents that I've coached all around the country, probably 15 to 20% are really what I would consider top-notch, serious, focused on this every day. Every morning they wake up, this is all they're doing. They're spending money on marketing and they're beating obscurity. For the other 80% or maybe even 85% of realtors, um, if, if they got out of the market today, everybody's still gonna close deals. If, five, if 500, 5,000 realtors got out of the market, that doesn't mean you're going to get those transactions because you don't have any marketing out there anyway. What you're fighting with is obscurity not other agents. The competition's not beating you. So it's almost like me saying LeBron James is getting all of the money in basketball right now and he's not giving me any. Well, I'm not even on the on the court. You know, you're not even playing the game. If you're not out on the field, you can't be mad that the other players are making all the money. Well, that's the case in real estate. If you're not out on the field, if you're not out there doing it, it's not the competition that's beating you. It's obscurity. It's your marketing campaign. So um, I want you to really think about that. Don't think that, oh, my, I'm in a market that has 70,000 realtors. I was talking to an agent today that's in a market with 50,000 realtors, which is Houston, Texas, 50,000 realtors in the area, but there's not 50,000 of them that had a closing, not one closing last month. There's not 20,000 that had one closing last month. So don't think the competition is the problem. Just because they're licensed does not mean they're practicing. So if you're really looking to grow your business and start practicing a lot more, you got to think about the offers that you're putting out there. Um, I, I just put together a brand new presentation for 2021. I put together a brand new presentation at um, getfastclosings.com that'll show you how to do this. Think of this. This is, this is uh, really cool. You can learn how to get fast closings. That's what we're all looking for, right? If you go to getfastclosings.com, you'll see about a 40-minute training to show you how to fight obscurity how to beat the competition, and even head-to-head, -head, if you do have an appointment against another agent, exactly what you do to close that business. So somewhere in the description here, um, you should see uh, a link to that, or you can just type it in your browser or whatever. But uh, there's always going to be part-time agents. There's always going to be inexperienced agents. There's always going to be other options like cash offers and that type of thing. Look at Honey. She's like 
patrolling the perimeter right now uh, and cannot find any lizards. Uh, but there's always going to be that, that other options that people have out there, including their brother as a realtor, their aunt as a realtor. None of that stuff matters. If you have a good offer and you have good marketing, you're going to pick up plenty of business. Even in this tight market, uh, it's very easy to get listings. I was on a mastermind call today with an agent that's got dozens and dozens of properties coming in every single month. I shouldn't say dozens and dozens, but over a dozen. Uh, every single month, she's closing 14, 15, 17 transactions strictly on the listing side. Want to see what her offer is? Better become a member. Like That's what we do here. So anyway, uh, check it out, getfastclosings.com. I think you'll find it incredibly helpful. I'm Greg Luther. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that video and we have a lot more information to share with you as well. I want you to do three important things so that we can start growing your real estate business immediately. First and foremost, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Now, if you don't have a YouTube account, you can set one up. It's totally free, very easy to do, but you want to subscribe to this YouTube channel and then make sure you ring the bell. If you ring the bell, you're turning on notifications so it'll let you know every time we load new videos and we load new training content for you nearly every single day. Now, additionally, I've got a big bonus for you because every week I choose one agent that I'm going to do a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with. Let me tell you how we choose them. You'll want to comment on this video below because every week we choose one person from the comments that I'm going to help them in growing their real estate business. So leave a comment below on the video that you just watched. What do you think about it? Do you like it? Are you trying it? Is it something you're intrigued by or want more information on? Leave a comment below and we choose someone every single week that I have a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with. So three important things. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring the bell to get notifications, and then leave a comment on this video below. We'll plan on seeing you soon.